So new starting quarterback and new offensive coordinator, former Boise State head coach Dirk Cutter is back to lead the offense. He previously had joined the team as an analyst this season when they needed a change at OC. Coach Avalos said he was the only man for the job. Cutter helped springboard Boise State into FBS relevance in the late 90s, winning back-to-back -back Big West titles. From there, he had an illustrious coaching career, eventually serving as OC for the Atlanta Falcons and head coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But for those who weren't around for those earlier years of Bronco football, we're trying to figure out what to expect to see on Friday night. This morning, Jay Tust asked offensive lineman Will Farah if his coaching style is more rah-rah, hype the team up, or a little more intense. A little bit of both, raw, raw and intense. You know, uh, if you mess up, he's going to let you know, which is a good thing. Uh, if you do good, he's going to let you know, which, also, which is also a good thing. But uh, he wants to go out there. He wants us to give it our all every day and uh, make a mistake, but make a mistake full speed. You know, he knows what it takes to be a Bronco, so really just uh, following his lead and whatever he has for us, we're going to execute. Obviously, immense respect for him. The things I pick his brain on, I mean, I remember watching him as the head coach of the Bucks. It's cool to see him operate and him kind of just coach on the field and us getting together now on some scripted periods and getting together. Um, I'm excited for our offense. And I'm excited for um, what he's going to be able to do. I like how he said the only man for the job. He is perfect. He didn't miss a beat at all, Birdie. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, they needed somebody to jump in. It, it's a tall task mm -hmm. to come in midway through the season, but luckily they had somebody who's experienced and familiar with the team. And I remember that, those days when I was in sports, kind of dating myself here. He was pretty intense back then. <laughs> I'm sure it carries over a little bit here. Thanks, Brady. We'll be right back.